Thank you very much. You didn't mention I also spent three years in Delhi as the VIT ambassador, and it was the best time of my diplomatic career. So that's why I'm coming back to India, because uh, I know India and I love him. His Ex Excellency Shribagat Singh Koshari, dear Shri Manish Patnagar, President of the General of Commerce, dear Renoucho, dear fellow Europeans, dear Indian friends, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be with you here today for this Europe Day, even if it's with uh, some weeks of uh, distance. It's this event is organized by the European Union Chambers of Commerce India. And this year is for all of us a very important year. It is the 75th independence uh, of India. So it's a very important uh, time. And it's also the 75th diplomatic anniversary of diplomatic relations between France and India. And it is also the 50th anniversary of EU-India relationship. So that's a very important year for us. As you know, France, as you mentioned, France holds the presidency of the Council of the European Union, which happens once every 13 years. And it started in, from the 1st of January with the desire to move forward Europe as a global partner and a global actor in the world. The two last years and the last three months dramatically have, marked, have been marked by difficult times for Europe and for the world. First of all, we all know that there is an ongoing public health crisis which has greatly affected us more than two years, for more than two years. But the second event and the marking event, event is a brutal attack of Russia in Europe against a European country, a sovereign Ukrainian country, which is Ukraine. This attack was launched in violation of all the basic principles of international public law, notably the UN Charter and the rules of the Council of Europe. This attack is not acceptable and be sure of EU's determination to oppose this move. We are now taking the sixth batch of sanctions against Russia. The impact on EU economy is real but limited and EU has shown a very impressive capacity of resilience but there is an impact on EU economy as it is on the whole world and you know that. Above all, this crisis demonstrates for us that EU has proven its unity and its desire to become a global actor on the world scene. I would just like to remind you some figures um, that some of them are already recorded to us. EU remains one of India's largest trade partners on the third place. The EU remains the most attractive place for foreign investment. Uh, foreign investment in Europe recovered into in 2021, following a year in which COVID-19 caused investment in Europe drop by 30%, it's now back with an increase of plus 5%. A recent uh, SN Young survey uh, showed that business remain optimistic that Europe will retain status as the highest attractive long-term destination for foreign investment. In this, I just wanted to mention that France has been ranked for the third year on the first place of foreign investment in Europe. More broadly, France is the third host country for Indian investment project in Europe. And uh, we, we share the, the top place with uh, uh, friends from Germany, from uh, Italy, and from Spain. I also would like to mentioned that we would be very happy to have more Indian companies investing in Europe. And there is a, an external factor which may be positive for Indian companies to, to join European soil, which is the Brexit and the Brexit effect, which has uh, blown a severe, uh, severe blow sorry, on, uh, on UK. 
when they decided to uh, sever their ties with Europe. What does Brexit mean uh, concretely for an Indian company? It means that as far as trade is concerned, it's become more complex to export from UK to EU. It's only now a, a, a third country, which is pretty much all, all other countries in the world, so there is no specific advantage as it was before. There is a rules of origin, which means that importing goods from India to the UK and then into the EU will incur the impact of tariffs and VTA, VAT tracked twice. So uh, if you want to be present on the European market, which is 450 million uh, consumers, uh, the best option is to be in Europe. And last, for services, it is the end of regulatory equivalence, which means that it is no longer possible to distribute services to EU customers from the UK. So the best option to be present in Europe is to set up a company on EU territory. And what we observe that it's a train taken by many Indian companies and we, EU member states globally, would be very happy to develop earnings with India, with India in Europe. So as far as business is concerned, times uh, are tough, tough, but uh, it is often in crisis that one can reveal oneself. It is a case for Europe. We are on the path of asserting ourselves but in our manner, which is an open manner, a peaceful manner, and a positive manner, which are exactly in accordance with Indian values. Thank you very much.